Seven in a row for Richard Pitino and company, trying to make it eight as they take on the Corn Huskers of Nebraska. Early on in the game, Nate Mason, who's had himself such an impressive season, 25 points on the day, the long one right there. The Gophers lead by two. He had some help on this day in the form of Jordan Murphy. Well, Jordan Murphy, Mr. Activity at this point, plays with a ton of energy, has all the upside in the world, and you're just starting to see what he can really do. Six double-double out of the last seven games. There's a reason why they're seven straight now, eight straight games won. This looks like the hottest team in the Big Ten. 20 points, 11 boards for Murphy on the day. Gophers up 13 at the break. Second half, more Minnesota. Coffee, Curry, Lynch. Reggie with the slam, and the lead is 15. Later on, the lead's up to 17. Nate Mason from deep. Man, he doesn't need a ton of room, but he gets it. He'll drill it. 12 minutes left. The hits just keep on coming. Dupree McBrayer ended up with 16 points on the day. Gophers lead by 22. Then later on, more from McBrayer, this time in the paint. The team shot 56% from the floor. <laughs> from the floor on the day. Look at that one again. Beautiful. Gophers win 88 to 73. Eight straight wins for Richard Pitino. Well, the wins have been really good. You know, I'd like to say it's been affecting people's lives and stuff, but the wins are nice. I like the wins. Uh, but I will say that their, uh, their chemistry is really evolving. You know, they, they really do like being around each other. I think everybody can see it. Uh, they really like playing with each other. Um, and they're, they're committed to getting better. And I keep telling them, because I've been lucky to be around some pretty good March runs in my life, and it just ends. It all goes away. So just enjoy the journey. And they've been really good about that. So I think their mentality, more than anything, um, has really, really been a positive.